Hello, hello, everybody. Welcome back today to Grounded. Um, I know we took a little bit of a break from Grounded last time, uh, and I started a brand new series on uh, on Raft, another survival game. Uh, so if you did miss that and want to want to see another survival game, uh, definitely be sure to check that series out. Uh, but today we're back to good old Grounded, and, uh, I did go ahead and make the trip back down here to our, uh, our current base, uh, from kind of our kind of sort of upper yard adventure last time. Um, I've got our, actually I don't think it's in our inventory, I think I did put it away, uh, we got our ever charcoal chunk, um, supply down here now um, so we will be able to hopefully make an oven with that today um, unfortunately I was just checking the recipe uh, we need four boiling glands for that and we only have two at the moment so we are gonna have to do some hunting I believe of bombardier beetles um, which kind of works out because we have a uh, burgle quest that needs three more of those parts anyway. Um, however, uh, looking at the in-game time right now, it is 1.15, and we have a quest, uh, uh, not, not a formal quest, but a self-assigned quest that needs to be done at 3.30 in the sandbox. Uh, so... We're gonna try to get over to the sandbox real quick, and ooh, I need that jump first Don't try. Even need to boil it. Uh, oh, and then I almost fell off the shovel. Uh, so we're gonna try to get up to the top of the picnic table real fast, zip on over to the sandbox, and uh, basically we're trying to go for uh, the buried key, uh, I believe it's like the melted moat key. Oh, I have to go this side of the lunchbox. No. Um, I think it's the melted moat key is the, the official name of that key that we're looking for. Um, and it is, it is buried somewhere in the sand and we have to be there at a set time. And I believe that time is 3.30. So, we should be timing this just about right. Alright, hopefully we can just avoid these bees. We don't have time to deal with them. But... I can just take them out real quick like that. We can get a little bit more bee parts anyway. Oh, oh, don't fall down. There we go. Okay, okay. I would like to stop for that, Billy Hog, but we're, we're on a deadline here. I believe I've still got, yeah, we've still got the antlion armor on, so we should be fine. Uh, status effects, do we, okay, we've got our fresh defense. So, I think we're gonna be good. Uh, this area's too hot oh no! Yeah. Oh gosh. I thought I had a dandelion, I forgot that as of last time we found that little charm. For defense. And we don't have a dandelion equipped because of it. Okay. Time is 245. So we've got a little bit of time. Basically, when this we have to we have to be here and and look in the shadow of this shovel at 3.30. And we will get the key that we need. Um, oh, do these guys stay dead now? It's interesting. 
Oh, but that guy doesn't. Hello? There we go. We'll just harvest a few more antlions then in the meantime. And we should be really close to 330 now. What are we at? 322. So, oh, yep. I think we are close enough, and there it is. So, yeah, right there with the sun shining through the shovel, we have found our treasure of the melted moat key. Excellent, because we were, I think, was it even two episodes ago that we were originally trying to get that? Um. Is that guy still there? No, wow. I thought that these guys normally respawned like right away, the the big giant ant lions, but anyway, I'm glad we don't have to deal with them. Um we are headed to the moat, uh, as the name melted moat key would imply. Um, and, uh, there you can see our destination is that treasure chest right over there. We can open this up. We can grab a recipe. And we don't want to drown, so we will figure that out. Is that in our inventory? It's not. So that's in... Uh, places? No. Stuff. Waterlogged recipe. A note detailing how to make a particularly deadly weapon. So, that will be very beneficial to us. Because we like particularly deadly weapons. Okay. Oh, 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 more ant lions. That's fine. That's fine. Ow. Not bad. Throw another bandage on. So, the other thing that we still have not done here in the sandbox is go over to the sand castle. Um, oh, and it looks like there's a mixer over there. We're obviously not going to do the mixer right now. That was a really slow strike there, Antlion. Uh, but we might go over there just to make sure we have it on our map. So I'm not sure that we do. Uh, but then we might try to work our way over to the, uh, the sandcastle and explore that just a bit while we're here in the sandbox at the moment. There we go. Now we have officially discovered the mixer. Um, and I might just double check that we've found everything over here. I think we have... Uh, we could grab some cookie bits, actually. That may not be a bad idea. So we could always use those as snacks while we're here. That's... Okay, that's rotten food. I'm not gonna worry about the rotten food this time. We'll just take the cookie bits. And the, Oh, I got one rotten food. I don't want... The rotten food. Okay, and is there anything in here? Not at the moment. All right. So what we're gonna have to do is we're going to run down to 
Oh, well, we're gonna deal with this ammo. That's what we're gonna have to do. Still, still didn't quite get that one's timing right. There we go. But yes, we're gonna run down now to kind of the little uh, oasis area once I can stop dealing with antlions and gather some grass. What? Oh, there's another big one down there chucking stuff at me. That's what's going on. I wonder if that means all of them have respawned or if we just haven't done this hole. We're gonna see. We're just gonna take this one out. I know, I just keep getting sidetracked, but... You guys should probably expect that from me by now. Yeah, that's right, you're stunned. Normally I do my little, like, hide behind the rim trick, but just strafing there worked really well. Uh, let's throw a torch on here, because it is rather dark. And we're probably going to get another antlion coming out from inside here, I would guess. Uh, no, this is like the salt cave. We've been in here before. Well, it won't hurt to grab more salt. Especially with what we're gonna wanna do later. That's, geez, 34 salt. And that's not even all of it. At least two more chunks here. The what, 38 salt? That is pretty crazy. All right, so we're gonna come down here and fight another animal. Uh, okay. And what we're really trying to do is grab some grass, but I think we did get a new resource, which is the fresh cookie bit. So we can analyze that. And no new recipes. Oh well. But we did level up anything from that. Termite armor, okay. Okay. We'll be up dealing with termites here pretty soon. Alright, but let's chop some grass. Alright, and then once that breaks up... Five, alright. Then we're gonna start taking this on up to the sand castle and seeing what we can see a 
think right about here would be good. And just to make this as uh, resource friendly as possible, we're just going to do... a very thin walkway and live life on the edge. But that way we don't have to make 50,000 trips between the little oasis and uh, the sand castle just bringing grass back and forth. All right, we made it. Okay, more ant lines. Not surprised. Aha, I got the timing that time. Oh, we do have a milk molar here somewhere. All right, there's another ant lion. We're just racking up all the ant line parts. Let's let's go up on here first. Here, I'll get my torch back out so you all can see. Um, all right. Well, oh, sturdy quartzite, not not tier three. We can do that. All right, that looks all of it. Nope, don't fall all the way down. We're just hopping on. Battlements here. All right, science is good. Hello down there, friend. Uh, can I just shoot you? Are you gonna let me do that? Cause our antlion sword is not doing so well. So if you just want to sit there, I would really appreciate it. Thank you, friend. Okay, we're also getting hungry. We're gonna eat Choke it down, Pete. eat some cookies. Cause what is a better meal than just a bunch of cookies? And ooh, nice we did and not clean. fill our canteen. That was not the best strategy. Um. Well, it does not. Wait. Taking a look. Hmm. I can't get on top of this tower. So I think we go back down. And this is all filled in. Okay. I think there had been like a very ominous looking hole here at one point in the early access. And I was really hoping that that would become a new area for us to explore in the full release, but I think that maybe that was like an option they had left open for themselves and didn't do, or was maybe cut content, or maybe, maybe could still be future content, we'll see, but doesn't look like we will be getting into there today because it doesn't look like there's anything to see there. Okay, nothing up here, and then I think that's the tower we couldn't get to. There's no way I can make that jump without a dandelion. So, I think that this milk molar is probably up on top of that tower. Yeah, because as I jump, I start to get another bar filling in. Um, I don't think we worry about that for now. I think for now, 
we might head on back home with our spoils, because we did get quite a few resources. I am pretty pleased with what all we were able to get in this little venture. So we'll head back. Maybe we'll sleep. I don't know what time it'll be by the time we get back home. And, uh... By the then, power of Helion, champion of the sun! Uh, we can... The next day, start going on <laughs> our bombardier beetle hunt to get boiling glands so that we can make our oven. <sighs> Alrighty. Well, it is the next day, and, um... Let's get all of our stuff dropped off here. And we should have a couple of extra items that are new. Up our cookie bits. And, uh... Oh, did our bug box fill up? No, we just didn't have any antlion heads in there. Okay. Cool. So, let's put our torch away. And... Uh, you know what? What level is this? Level three. Let's... Oh, gosh, dang it. I haven't done that in a while. Um. Sort that, and we're good. Okay. We should upgrade this bad boy. We need some brittle whetstone. Uh, do I not have any made? Guess that would be in here, wouldn't it? All right. We want pretty whetstone. Go ahead and make it out of our quartzite while we still can. And then there we go. All right. Let's take our antlion sword. And we're going to go ahead and make it up to level 5. Um, we should also check and see what our fancy new weapon is. And that would be the Salt Morning Star. So this is a heavy ball of hurt coated in shards of salt to ensure whatever it hits feels excruciating pain. Very nice. And then also, I believe it was maybe last episode? Uh, we got the Mint Mace recipe, which is a giant club crafted from a chunk of Ice Caps mints. Deals fresh damage on hit, but useless for busting. They have to put that in there because it actually used to be used, uh, you're usable as, um, as a hammer. And so people would just, like, race to get this, and it was, like, the ultimate tool in the game, basically, because it was a great overpowered weapon and regular tool. Um, let's see, we also haven't made a mosquito needle yet, and that could potentially be nice for some things. It doesn't have, like, great damage, but you do get, like, this lifesteal ability, and it's super fast. Um, so that might be a fun thing to make. But, the Mint Mace and Salt Morning Star, those would be two very nice things to have. Um... But they, they take some stuff that we don't have yet, which are salt globs and mint globs. That's what we need the ovens for today. They also take tough gunk, which we have to take down uh, basically the upper yard insects to get. Um, we do have a little bit, uh, <laughs> by a little bit, the bare minimum. We have exactly one. Um, so we'll definitely have to keep fighting the upper yard insects, it appears. Um, but I believe there are also a couple of additional things that we can make with our charcoal other than the oven. So we should check that out as well. Yeah, here's one. The Ever Char Torch. Um, so... This torch, rather than having to keep making new torch pluses, with this torch, we can uh, just repair it, basically. Just like any other tool or piece of equipment. 
and uh, not have to craft a new one every time. Unfortunately, though, we don't have that much tough gunk. We have not ever discovered a green shield bug part, and we have not ever discovered lint rope. So that's out of the question for the moment. And the last thing must be here, which is the charcoal canteen. Also has things we don't have yet, which is people leather and lint rope. So that's going to require exploring more of the upper yard. Okay. So with all that in mind, I think first priority... We need to take down some bombardier beetles. Uh, oh, I need to rebind that. Uh, so we need to take out the bombardier beetles... Get some boiling glands, and then we can make our oven. And after that, it's going to be a tough gunk hunt. Uh, so we'll be heading back to the upper yard and seeing about hunting down some bugs there. Luckily, we have this guy nearby for one bombardier beetle. We'll just hope that he gives us his boiling glands. And... Then we'll just have to track down however many more, at least one more bombardier beetle. At least two more to satisfy Burgle, but... Alright, good. We did get the boiling gland. That's good news. And, um, let's see. Our nearest... Nice and clean. Our nearest bombardier beetles are going to be right over this way, I believe, if I remember correctly. I think that they live kind of by the gnome. Alright, well, we've just passed the gnome. We should be, as we're kind of approaching the pond, we should be finding those bombardier beetles. I might head over to these mush- oh, they're actually Fits. over at these mushrooms. Lollipops. Um, I'm hoping some of these mushrooms have some little mushrooms we could munch on because I am definitely hungry. Should have eaten before we left, but I was too hasty starving. heading out. There we go. That's a little better. That's much better. I just saw a bombardier beetle this way. We'll just, we'll just keep kind of eating our way over. We'll find him eventually. Um, you go in here. Not really much in there. Kind of a scary hole. That feels like another spider hole. Um, I know I just saw the bombardier beetle. Where did they go? Hmm. Alright, well, if these guys don't want to show their faces, there is normally one more right over these rocks. I will have to avoid a bunch of orb weavers. But there should be, like, one more right around here. Or two more. Or three more! Alright, well there's our Watch boiling out. gland, but we're gonna take the rest of these guys out. For the parts, and for Burgle. You know what, we're just going in. Hey, that hurt. Yeah, yeah, that's right. What, what's what's your plan here? Ow, ow, that was a good plan. I'm standing on it. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. All right. Well, we actually have four boiling glands on us. That's actually really good. 
I feel like we don't normally get that good of luck with bug parts. So, uh, yeah, I think we're good to head on back. Or just get ambushed by a spider that I didn't really get ambushed by. I kind of just walked into him. All right. Well, easy enough. All right. You know what? While we're fighting bugs, we're gonna we're gonna practice again. And we're taking on the big boy. Okay, one wolf spider is not a problem for us anymore. No water I just, I, I kind of like to, to just build that confidence for myself. All right, well, we're gonna deposit all of our parts that we collected. Um, we can throw the leftover whetstone in the chest here. And then it should be finally time to make an oven. Uh, we needed our boiling glands. And I believe clay should be the last thing. There's a chance that we need to go harvest clay. Um, I don't think I'm seeing it in any of these chests. Yeah, luckily... We have a good amount of clay, like, right outside our door. So that won't be a problem. Let's just grab, like, two of these chunks of clay, and I think we'll be good. Alright. There's no way it takes more than 12 clay, so let's go with that. Um, we will just build our oven kind of in here by the rest of our stuff. Let's find where this thing lives. Right there. Okay, it did take 10 clay, so we were actually close, but we've got it. So, oven right there. Super build. And there we go. So, here are all of our recipes. We've got all these different globs. We've got mushroom bricks and a brood mother BLT. Uh, we're not looking to fight the brood mother today, so we're not going to worry about that. Um, I think we do probably have all the parts to do so. Uh, we can't make any sour globs because we've found nothing sour so far. Um, I think we could make spicy globs. We're definitely going to make some mint globs. We're definitely going to make some salt shards. Um, and we might make some mighty globs as well. Um, all of these globs are going to be how we have to continue upgrading our equipment. So, just as an example, uh, I have our, our antlion greatsword beat, we got up to level 5. And now we have a choice, just like with our armor, um, we can go with like the sleek or sturdy option. Um... Our weapons, once we hit level 5, we either go mighty, which just makes them stronger, or we choose an element of fresh, salty, spicy, or sour. Different bugs have different resistances and weaknesses to those elements. Um, and so you can kind of help tune your your weapon in that way. Um, there's also, as we saw, um, some weapons that just straight up take those 
as ingredients, um, those globs as ingredients, uh, like recipe ingredients. So I think, let's see. The, those larva are kind of annoying. The ladybird larva, that's what I'm thinking of, up top in the yard. I know we can't make this yet, uh, that, like, a mint mace yet, or a, um, salty morning star, but which would be better to have fresh? Fresh or stabbing, but they're weak, or they're resistant to busting, so that's interesting. Okay, how about a roly-poly? They're neutral. They're weak to busting and fresh. So that, that tells me that maybe a mint mace wouldn't be a bad way to go as our first priority. So I think we maybe start... Oh man, whatever is crawling around there is really making a... causing a ruckus. Um, I think that, yeah, cooking up some mint... Oh my goodness, what am I doing? Uh, cooking up some mint would not be a bad way to start out. So, let's grab some mint. What else did that take? We need sturdy whetstone. Sturdy whetstone. And we're gonna do that out of our quartzite shards to begin with. Um, or that actually might be our only way to do it right now. Um, okay. We'll do two, because that's all it takes. Is that correct? Um, craft weapons. Mint mace. It takes two. Salt globs. We need two. Um, all right. So let's put the rest of our mint back. And we'll take some salt. And make a couple of those. Oh, we have tons of sturdy whetstone. Okay, I was concerned about that. For some reason. Okay. Oh, I must have just, like, not been in range of our sturdy whetstone. Got it. Okay. So, anyway, that will all cook up actually pretty quickly. And then, is there anything else I should make? Maybe a spicy something. Because we don't have... A spicy weapon just yet. Maybe I make our antlion sword spicy? What are what are antlions weak to though? See this is this is always the the dilemma of like how you They're weak to salty. Um I'm not <laughs> is the rump that's funny um so spiders are weak to spicy not all spiders okay diving bell spider is salty but orb weavers and wolf spiders are both spicy black soldier ants and probably wait do we not have regular black ants have I not scanned a black ant? No, there it is. It okay, so they're spicy. So ants seem to be spicy. Ants and spiders are spicy. Regular larvas spicy. 
So the lower yard spicy would be kind of decent. The upper yard seems to be a lot more salty. Hmm. Maybe we just make... Oh my, it just got dark. Uh, can we sleep yet? Almost. Maybe we make regular shards. What do mighty globs take? They just take whetstone. Um, okay, let's take all of those. What? We take you, and we wanted to just make you mighty. It takes five mighty globs. Um, okay. So, ooh, we're just gonna, we're gonna cook up a bunch of mighty globs. And I'm looking for my lean-to in the dark. There we go. And it is still dark. Let there be light. Okay. Take all of those. And we want to take you and upgrade. We are going to lock ourselves into mighty on this one. We're going to be boring and just take strength over an element. And eventually we're going to need 10 Mighty Globs. We're going to hold off on that for now. Um, you, you need Supreme Plating. That just takes a new hammer. So that's all we can do there. Um, how about you? We're going to upgrade you to level 5. Um, okay. I feel pretty good about all of that. So, yeah, what's all in our inventory now? I think we need to just put our... Basically put all of our rocks away. And then I think that we go... Hunt some stuff in... The upper yard. I think that is... The plan. Uh, let's... Grab a drink... Um, and we assign these as well while we're at it. Um, I did refill the canteen, by the way. Um, uh, but Don't even need to boil let's it. not use that up. If I could find some bugs to cook up. Alright, there we go. Uh, a couple of aphids... You know what? We're gonna take one with us. Where's We're gonna eat a few of these sprouts. mushrooms. And then that way we can have an aphid in the pocket to eat on the go if necessary. Alright. Here we are now in our lower nice upper yard. <laughs> um, I think that we are going to try once again to go into the hole of death um, and see what we can do. I think we're gonna have to still use our axe. That thing just can jump way too far. Okay, there's one gunk. Okay, we're gonna do... One of those... 
and just wait a second. Maybe a bandage too. We'll get double healing going. We were like one more. Don't really know the best way to go here. There we go. Got you that time. Got like five on us. Shoot! I backed up too late. <sighs> Alright, before we take the plunge again. Boom. Respawn point, so I don't have to keep running from the picnic table over to here. Uh, there we go. Oh. Eat that. I can equip my that. Says I light up Let's a go. Oh, wait. And the other thing I wanted to do, check my statuses because I don't need the poison one now. Um, sizzle protection, maybe. Uh, critical hit, maybe that would be good. Yeah, let's try it. Let's try crit hit. Hit. <laughs> Okay. Um, let's see. I should also maybe bandage up. No, all my bandages are <laughs> unfortunately in my backpack, but also all of my bandages I think are down to like three bandages, so we can we can resupply for a moment. Five. Okay. Craft. Health. Bandages. Many. Boom. Heal. Come on, man. I blocked that, but thank you. Yeah, no getting away. I'm right here. Yeah, that's right. You didn't get to heal. Oh, but you did. That's not cool, man. Okay. Hopefully those counted as some of the ones that were in here. By the power of Helion. Alright, there's you. my bag. 
gonna get that going. We're gonna get that going. We're gonna get that going. We're just gonna max our health out. Yeah, bring it. You go, bugs. You're weak, and I'm not letting you get away. Where'd your friend go? There he is. Oh, that's not cool. Taking so much damage. There we go. All right, back in. Back by. Walk back by. This is this is actually a better strategy. This way. Why is this place so big? No. like down here oh I can't even get past that okay well what's up here Okay, well, there's the milk molar. We're just gonna maybe take this and run. Except I do still have to kill bugs, so... Oh, boy. To... Oh, no, that's just the tunnel I went down. Okay, okay, okay. Gotta keep my bearings straight. For 
on your feet, Pete. Oh, there's still more milk molars down here. Aha! Take that, buggy. Wait, an insulating larva spike? The heck is that? Grabbing materials. Okay, nothing's right there. I need the termite axe to get through that. And then there's two lower tunnels. We're doing it. Doing it very slowly. Okay. Still have my aphid. We're going to eat that. And pull this back out. Okay, so that was the way up. So there's not two lower tunnels. It's just this one. I was just getting confused. Oh, gosh, man. Okay, but now there are two. I spy. Jeez. What is this place? Other than the place of nightmares. I was around a corner, sir. Oh. I was trying to get out. Making a quick run for the backpack. And then we're gonna go repair our armor. That's where I left you. Let there be light. Alright, how are we doing on gloop? Eight. Eight gunk. Do we dare? I think we dare. We're brave. We need one more gunk. We can do gunk. We can, we can do this without armor, right? Preemptive healing. In the pitch black. There we go. We're just gonna jump on down. Gonna reclaim some arrows.
Oh, come on, man. Come on. Come on. Always break on me. Oh, no. Our weak one ran away. Gosh, dang it. I hate that I can't switch weapons right after shooting a shot. You, like, have to reload. Uh, we're gonna make this happen. I am determined. I mean, we took out two. The problem is now we're going in in the pitch black because I didn't actually get a chance to switch weapons. I hope all my things are still here. My mom always says okay. I light up a room. I think we've lost one of them now. I think we're down to one larva. Burn your feet, please. Oh my gosh, you gotta be kidding me. This is so much harder. Alright, we'll give this one more try, and if it fails, we'll just go back and actually get our armor. I'm, I'm probably lying. Really wish you were a lazy bug instead. Ha! Got you. Yes! And we got the gunk! Alright, let's go. Let's go. We're out of here. Well, it's a good thing that earlier in this episode we went on a nice, uh... Antlion slaying rampage. Because I think that we're gonna be needing all those parts to repair our armor. Hopefully we don't need... ...too much more than those parts. Let's see, though. Repair glue. All right, well. Uh, interesting. Um. We'll deal with that later. Um. Okay, I think. Because, let's see, we figured this out earlier. That's the wrong button. Uh, because it's these darn... Ladybird larva, and they're weak to fresh, so we want the mint mace. Uh, so, crafting, mint mace, so we want flower petals and mint cloths. I don't think I have flower petals. I have flower petals, what are we talking about? Alright. Boom. And, boom. Mint mace where is it give it to me boom boom yes that is what i am talking about so well we can at least upgrade it to level one i'll have to make some more whetstone to upgrade it further but that 
that our first tier 3 item? Or our first tier 3 weapon. We have tier 3 armor. So that will do it for today. Uh, as always, thank you guys so much for watching. It really does mean a lot to have you all support on this series. Um, if you do want to make sure that you can continue to watch the series, first of all, make sure that you drop a like to show your support, but also make sure that you subscribe so that you can find this again whenever I upload the next one. Um, I will see you all very soon with the next part, and, uh, I hope you all have a wonderful day. See ya!